like to introduce you to the wireless AOL Scan 3 Interoral Scanner by Shining 3D. A brief introduction to myself. I'm a private general practice dentist in Sydney, Australia, and have been practicing since 1990. I have a prior qualification of Bachelor of Science majoring in Computer Science. So suffice it to say, technology is a very integral part of my practice. Now for the unboxing. In 2024, AOS 3 Wireless is not a new release technology. So I looked around for existing unboxing videos to emulate. I found quite a few, but one in particular was outstanding and is exactly how I would have presented this. It is a non-verbal video, so I've decided that I will review and commentate this video. The video was made by the Institute of Digital Dentistry, a group of technophilic New Zealand dentists. I love these guys. So when you acquire the AOS 3, you are delivered three parcels. There are two hard cases, one large, one smaller, and two cardboard boxes with international adapters for the power supply. The smaller case contains the accessories. The bigger box, of course, contains the scanner. The first thing to explore are the assembly and basic utility instructions. Most importantly, these documents include content lists and a sterilization guide for the scanner tips. You might want to laminate the sterilization guides because the scanner tips are consumable and Shining claims that you can autoclave them up to a hundred times before replacing. And this is the content list. Now let's start with the scanner wand. Always protect the scanner head. The actual scanner is delivered with a protective cover which should always be placed when the scanner does not have a scanner tip in place. Next is the calibration unit, which must be applied initially before the scanner is used and then periodically repeated to ensure the accurate alignment of the scanner. Two power cables are supplied. One is for the wireless receiver and the other the calibrator. Scan tips slides over the scanner one's head and are the extensions that goes intraorally to acquire the scan data. They come in two sizes and the standard set delivered are of five tips which includes one smaller pediatric size tips and four larger standard units. Next, we have the charging cradle, which is a charging stand for the scanner one. The battery backup cable is handy in case you actually run out of battery power and allows you to work with a wide power supply. This is a DC power supply. Three batteries are supplied, each with the potential for two hours of continuous scanning. That should be more than enough for your daily use, as long as you are diligent in charging the batteries overnight. Now let's crack open the accessory case. Models are provided for you to practice scanning. This is an additional power supply for the scanner cradle. These are the international power supply adapters. This cradle adapter allows a scanner to be seated while not in use clinically. However, in this configuration, it does not allow the cradle to be used for charging. And finally, the battery charger allows three batteries to be recharged simultaneously. And this is the accessory inventory list. That's all for now, but look out for my review on this scanner in a few months.